Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are planting yarrow. I found three of these, well, I bought three of them. There was a lot more of them at my local garden center. They were $3.99 and I just couldn't help but pick them up. I was there for pansies, I was not there for yarrow, but I've been looking for yarrow since last summer when I did my butterfly garden because they are a huge, 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 huge pollinator favorite. Butterflies love them. So these are a perennial. They get pretty big, 25 by 30 high and wide. You can see they have beautiful pink color. They also come in whites, I believe yellows, all kinds of different colors. I have three to plant. So going to get started by planting this guy. He will start to get established now, hopefully grow, get bigger and bloom next summer, but it is perfectly fine to still plant perennials in the fall as long as you are a minimum of like 10, 20 days before your first frost. My first frost won't be for at least another month or two, so we're good. We have a long growing season here in the south. I believe our first potential freeze is like November 20th in our zone. So I've still got like 20 days minimum. I don't even know. It's the end of October right now. So he will settle in. I will go ahead and show you where I planted him along with all the pretty pansies and the ornamental kales. Um, I did go ahead and plant him in that video, but we'll show you the footage because I was already back there. And then we're going to go ahead, pop over by my tree. Like I said, these guys can get 30 high and wide. So they need a lot of space. He's going to be able to fill in this whole corner here. Um, and mom's actually going to help me plant the other two because when I was planting this guy, I injured my back, something awful. And I'm having a really hard time <laughs> moving today. So let's go watch mom plant the other two. And then I'll show you how they're all looking. plant mine so close to the tree. I was gonna say nothing's easy to plant with the roots. Whew. That guy needs water. He says water me please. Can uh those are tiger lily bulbs. Tiger lily bulbs. Yeah, it's fine. Looks like you got some. Somewhat. Oh, coneflowers? I threw some seeds back there last year. So. Oh, I didn't put any in there. Give here. That's just working in. You literally just threw as much dirt as you could into the Netherlands. I 
So after a couple days of settling in, this guy is looking beautiful. He's putting out new uh, foliage, new leaves, and hopefully he will settle in enough to bloom for us next summer. If not, he can still settle in enough to really put on enough growth for next year. Cannot wait to see those pink blooms back there. In this area, I have typically lots of foxgloves right in here. I have a verbena that fills in this whole front area. I planted two catmints. You can see this one is doing much better than this one. But I have lots of that catmint that's doing really well right over here. So if I need to divide some, and bring it back over here, I will. But then that leaves this whole area here. So last year I actually planted some poppies back in here. Only one made it, it was glorious, it got huge, but it did not, did not make it much past then. We actually tried to transplant it over to mom's. She really wanted it, don't know if it'll live. But once again, that left this zone empty. So hopefully this perennial yarrow will be a permanent addition to this corner of the garden. It can kind of take over and give us a permanent, nice big plant to grow up and hide this corner of the porch while still giving us lots of seasonal interest because this area where the foxgloves come up in the spring, um, it gets too hot here and they don't like to stick around for fall, even though foxgloves in other parts of my garden are still thriving. Go figure. All right, let's hop over and check out the two we planted by the tree. And of course by we, I mean mom, but either way, they're looking much better today. She planted them for me, A, because I was having a hard time moving, but B, because they were looking very, very wilted in their cans. So you can see we've planted one here behind the iris to fill in this area and then another one here. So the last couple of years I planted this annual salvia in this spot and when it really goes to town, it really goes to town. But this year, last year it didn't really. And so like you can see, I've got three of them. I planted dozens in this area. The first year I planted them, they did fabulous. They looked great. They kind of literally took over and then Ever since then, they just haven't been loving it. So I'm gonna try this yarrow. Hopefully it will get big and pink and fill in a large area by this tree. And then we can do more smaller things up front. I did plant a mum. Hopefully that will also do really well because that's a beautiful color there. It's very, it's a very dark uh, burgundy-ish red slash pink. Lots of different tones and hues. So either way, I'm absolutely loving the yarrow. I'm glad that it's bouncing back. It was only not watered for like an afternoon, but apparently that was enough. So, you know, sometimes it's just pretty hot and sunny and things go wilted in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and go take a break. My back is still killing me. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Say thanks, mom. Thanks, Mom.